Today we're going to talk about uh, friction and forces. So what we're going to do is ask a simple question. Here we have a book sitting on a slope. And what we can do is increase the angle of this slope in the direction of this arrow right here. And as this slope gets bigger and bigger, um, the force of the weight of the book pulling down it is going to get stronger and stronger. And at some angle theta, this book is going to start sliding. So the way to solve this then is to say at the point where the weight pulling along the slope is exactly equal to the, for the frictional force, the maximum frictional force that this object can produce, that is the maximum angle, or that's the angle where it just starts to slide. So in that case, we need to figure out a couple of things. First, we need to say the mass of the book is equal to m, and the coefficient of static friction is equal to mu sub s. And mind you, that's the coefficient of static friction. If it starts to slide, then it's, then it's uh, kinetic friction. But we're talking about when it's sitting still. Then what we need to do is pick uh, axes that we're going to use for our forces and for our free body diagram. So that gives us an x and a y axis. And I'm going to specifically choose the x axis so that it's pointed along the slope. And the y axis is perpendicular to the slope. And so that's going to give me everything that I need to solve this problem. All right, so now let's go ahead and draw our free body diagram. So I've put the box here, which is my uh, book. And what are all of the forces? So first off, the force in the y direction is the normal force. The force pointing in the negative x direction is the force due to friction. And we know that the force due to friction is less than or equal to mu sub s times the normal force. And again, uh, static friction is a passive force. So it's got to be, the, that's where the less than or equal to comes from. And then finally, we have the weight. And the weight is pointing off at some direction theta. And it's the same angle theta as b above. And the weight is just equal to the mass of the book times gravity. So now let's write down our forces. So in the x direction, the forces are going to be uh, the forces along the slope. So first off, it is in the minus direction. It's minus the force of friction, and then plus the component of the weight that's along the x-axis. So plus w sine theta. And if it's sitting still, this is equal to 0. And in the y direction, we know that this is the normal force points up minus the other component of the weight, which is w cosine of theta. And that's going to be equal to 0. All right. So that gives us some things uh, that we can work with. So from our knowledge about what's going on in the y direction, we can say that the normal force, f sub n, is just equal to w cosine theta. Or really, that's just equal to mg cosine theta. And so that's going to come in handy in just a minute. And so what we know is that along the slope, at the maximum angle, so this is the angle where uh, we the, the coefficient or the force due to friction is at its absolute magnitude, maximum, we know that minus mu sub s times the normal force, or so mu sub s mg cosine theta, plus w sine theta, so plus mg sine theta, is equal to 0. And so we know that this is at the maximum angle. And that's absolutely critical, because uh, if it was at a lower angle, then the force would be smaller than this. Now, what we can do here is look closely and see that a bunch of things cancel out. So first off, we see that mg cancels out on both terms. And from that, we can actually solve this. So what we can do is just say uh, minus mu sub s cos theta plus sine theta is equal to 0. Solve for mu sub s. And that gives us mu sub s is equal to sine of theta over cosine of theta. Or really, it's the tangent of theta. More accurately, is the tangent of theta max. And so, rewriting this, 
if I want to solve for theta, uh, theta max, I have to take the arc tangent of both sides. So theta max is just going to be equal to the arctan of mu sub s, the coefficient of static friction. And there you go. At any angle smaller than theta max, the uh, book will not slide down the slope. At any angle greater than theta max, the book is going to start sliding down the slope. And there you go. Thank you very much. Have a good day.